Today in the grain market, soybeans jumped up. That scorching temperatures this week really boosted the market. The crops are gonna be under some stress now and uh, rains did come, but they were just too spotty right now. It sent prices up about 27 cents at one point. Uh, we, it, we're, we're trying to move closer to that $14 mark, just haven't gotten there yet, but the market you know, did pull back somewhat, even though it ended up higher. But it does create a gap now for you know, fundamental technical traders, I mean, uh, that will fill it when it comes back down. Now, option open interest uh, added uh, 2,600 puts and actually sold out 800 calls. So it seems like you know, we, as we move to the end of summer, we have get uh, some profit taking kind of moving in on that. Now, CVAL for soybeans is at 19.3% with the oil at 30.3% and the meal at 23.6%, and that's up two and a quarter percent. Corn was a little bit mixed. They kind of ended lower. That heat index is expected to top 120 degrees ahead uh, in the Midwest, basically from Minnesota to the Mexican border, from Colorado to Ohio. I think that the, the yields could be could come into question even though the market ended up lower today, which was kind of a surprise, although I suspect that volatility is gonna be coming here now as we're at the end of the season and harvest time is get, is uh, you know on the horizon right now. Option open interest added 1,200 calls and 3,600 puts. Um, the market is tr was trying to stay around that $5 mark, but it just seems that corn um, you know, was under a little bit of pressure today. That CVAL for corn is at 26.8%. Today though, wheat was lower. That world demand is expected to stay the same. That's a little bit bearish on the market. I think along with the idea that Russia could be shipping a record amount of wheat. Uh, it seemed that we had like a 24 cent range today, uh, but uh, spending most of the day and, and even the close uh, much lower along with Kansas City as well. All of this in spite of wildfires in Washington, the state of Washington and the heavy rains from Hillary delaying really the wheat harvest, uh, but that didn't really do much for the market. It still was lower. Option open interest added 900 calls, 700 puts. We're right around that 650 mark, which is kind of on the low end of the fence that we normally have. Let's see what happens there. CVAL is up two and a quarter percent to 40.9. So now we're over 40. Hot and dry weather and the end of the summer is sure to impact markets as we go forward.